well hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel legendary nigerian waka musician yes the one and only salawa abeni turned 60 the music icon on may 5th 2020 queen salawa abeni looked gorgeous on the series of photos she shared on social media as fans and colleagues celebrated with her i mean she's gorgeous beautiful and talented we give her that the queen of waka has so many reasons to be grateful and thankful to god for celebrating her birthday as she clocks 60. Queen Salawa Beni has been through so much in her life and in her career specifically. But she took to her Instagram page, a verified Instagram page, to celebrate herself, sharing beautiful and gorgeous photos of herself looking pang and sweet at 60. These days it has become a norm for young men and women to share photo shoots and mark their birthdays well. Queen Salawa also followed the route and decided not to be left out on the train. She took lovely photos as mentioned earlier, days before her huge day. Queen Salawa decided to alert her fans as she shared lovely blue dress, post beautiful numbered balloons showing that she was about to clock 60. According to her, it has been a beautiful journey to 60 despite the tears and struggle. You may be wondering what kind of tears and trouble she must have gone through. Well, sit back, relax as we bring each and one of it to you well she captured all of her pictures that she shared on instagram page saying and i quote alhamdulillah 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 enumi baokwe happy 60th to me salawa to ibimu mi abini i am more than grateful to god for sparing my life till this day and more ebami dukbeo this was salawa abini urging fans family friends to celebrate with her well on the dance floor at the 60th birthday were spotted Ijabo Ojo and several other celebrities who celebrated and spray and lavished her money on her birthday. Speaking of some of the trials and troubles that she has faced over the years recently, as we all know that a lot of the celebrities have had their own fair share of controversy on social media, one of which is Tiwa, whose sexual tape and video is still out there leaked on social media. It might also interest you and surprise you that Salawa Abeni has also been found in this category of celebrities that were tried to blackmail for their nude photos or videos well the yoruba singer in 2020 was sent an instagram message by a man who claimed to have a nude pictures and threatened to upload them on social media if she refused to cooperate can you imagine what the world has resulted to a woman in her late 50s she was 59 about to be 60 when this blackmailer came to her instagram page message and dm dm'd her telling her that if she refuses to pay a certain amount of money she will reveal her photo well abeni went to her instagram page on april 1st 2020 to let the world know that she was about to be blackmailed i mean it's april 1st i was hoping that the blackmailer would say it was april fool but unfortunately unfortunately this blackmailer was for real and serious about it well abeni didn't give the blackmailer any opportunity to get to her fans or family before she did and she decided personally to share the video and the photos of the picture the acclaimed blackmailer wants to use to extort her with money she wrote on her instagram page and i quote she said good morning my family friends and fans i have something very important to tell you and i will really appreciate your audience i'm very disappointed that someone somewhere will try to tarnish my image and threaten to destroy my career of over 45 years this morning i received messages from somebody threatening to expose very old pictures of me and in the process blackmailing me for money this could have been pictures of me in the hospital or even with my partner but is this what has become of us i plead with everybody out there to be very careful as our current situation has made people very desperate i'm almost 60 years old i have worked very hard and made a name for myself for somebody to believe that they can threaten and trample on my feelings this is very sad so i have decided to share the message and pictures sent by the person with everyone for you all to see thank you and god bless you for you the blackmailer i refuse to be bullied by you as i am sure that i am old enough to be your mother end quote 
this was Salawa Apeni with pain and anger in our voice and our text letting people know that we shouldn't resort to this and there is no way this black miller is going to get a dime from her and for your information this is me sharing the picture you want to blackmail me with this is quite appalling well it might also interest you to know and answer the question why salawa abeni has not been in limelight as of late as so many of our contemporaries are doing great and doing fine in the music industry well recalling that she has been faced with so many health challenges and one of which is the life-threatening hypertension paralysis to mention but a few salawa abeni when she was questioned in an interview she said she didn't even know how and why this in illness came but then she faced and battled each and every one of them. 2013 salawa abeni revealed in an interview mentioning and stating how tough and hard times have been for her she said in a what i've been sick for over four years and it has been a really tough time for me i never emphasized that it was going to happen this way what started like a child's play became an ailment which almost defied all forms of treatment funny enough i was told by my doctor that the whole thing was a result of stress and then hypertension sets in i doubted at first because i never thought stress alone would confine me to bed i traveled to paris london and back to nigeria for treatment i was put on medication i really think Thank God that I am on my feet again. She said in another interview with The Punch saying that she's still recovering and still receiving treatment as per her health and the likes of um, Ashwajibola Metinumbu, Tinumbu's late mother, former governor Fashola and Akimu Miyambode and Olushe Gun, former president of Nigeria, uh, were the people who came through for her financially and were there for her as well. She also said that a lot of resources has gone into managing her health. However, she thanked God that she's still alive to tell the story. She thanked God for giving her people to her sister, given the volume of work she has done, that she should be living in riches, but her sickness hasn't made it so, and that a lot of resources has gone into managing our health houses cars money and so many human efforts to keep her strong and healthy when she was asked about our colleague who stood by her and were there for her throughout all of this trying time she made sure to state that the only set of artists that were there for her as at that time was uh, the late Sekiro barrister Alabi Pasuma and Shefiu Alau were people that were there for her and stood by her and made sure they contributed financially to her health management. She said some of the friends that she dined and wined with didn't show up and after she recovered from my illness they said they couldn't find that they couldn't locate her and that was why they couldn't reach out to her well some people were of the opinion that it was after she lost her son idris olari Raju, that this triggered her illness well she said in her words i pray to almighty allah that after the death of my son idris olari Raju, god should never allow me to see the death of any child again my late son larry was the only bond between his late father latia de Podre, and i i can't say the problem started when i lost him even the volume 1 to 15 of my LPs are still with his late father's recording company and they are not ready to release them to me. My son Larry died October 2, 2000, but I pray the wound heals permanently. It's not good for a child to die before the parents. May the evil be averted in all homes. By God's grace, this was Salawa Abeni sharing our deepest pain. Well, it may also interest you to know that she had an affair, no, a marriage with popular Golinti Ainla, and she prefers not to actually talk about that part of her life. Well, fast forward to the most recent event in Mrs. Salawa's life, which is her birthday, which celebrated and she clocked 60. We say a very big happy birthday to her, long life and prosperity. Well, guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.